Today we're going to take a look at the T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector. Now this is a custom fit part. It is designed to fit the 2010 to 2014 Hyundai Sonata vehicles. Now this will not fit the hybrid models, but on a custom fit part like this, I always like to recommend for you to go to our website, use the fit guide, put in your year model vehicle, and it'll show you if this will work for your application. Now this harness provides this four-way flat trailer connector at the back of your vehicle, power your trailer signal lights. It is compatible with five pole, six pole, and seven pole adapters that we do sell separately on our website. And this does connect very quickly and easily. Basically, you just locate your connection points, which are behind the tail lights. You plug in these T connectors, one on each side. You'll take the one with the yellow wire in it. That's for the driver's side. You un or detach the wiring harness from your tail light on that side. Plug this in between the harness and the tail lights. And then you'll take this other one with the red and green wire and that's for the passenger side. You'll run this length of wire to behind the passenger's tail light and plug this in the same way. And then you'll take your white wire here that has an eyelet on it. This will be a ground wire. You need to connect this to a nearby ground if you don't have one. They do include this grounding screw that you can make your own ground. And then you'll take this red wire and this will run, this is the power wire that will run to your vehicle's battery to supply power to this converter. Now this does include the Modulite tail light converter to ensure that your vehicle's wiring matches that of your trailer. Now because most trailers run on a two wire system, whereas the brake and the turn signals are carried on one wire, the separate brake and turn signal from your vehicle's three wire system needs to be combined so that they are compatible with the wiring system of your trailer. So this tail light converter here will combine the brake and turn signal functions of your automobile so that they can run on one wire to properly activate your trailer's tail lights. And one note is this will not affect how the tail lights on your vehicle operate. This is a powered module. That's why you'll connect it directly to the battery. And that's to avoid overloading your vehicle's electrical system. Now the wire with the four-way attached, it runs out the back. That's constructed of a nice 16-gauge bonded wire. It does come with, if you notice, this integrated dust cover. So when you're not plugged into your trailer, you can just put that over the uh, four-way here and it'll protect those terminals from any damage or from the elements. A few specs on this harness, the maximum amperage for the stop and turn light circuits is 4.2 amps per circuit. Tail lights is 7.5 amps per circuit. Now it does come with everything shown here in the, uh, everything shown here on the table. And basically when you go to attach this, what you do again is go to the rear of the vehicle behind the tail lights, tail lights. plug in these T connectors, again one on each side. Ground your white wire, again if there's nearby, if not you can make a ground with your grounding screw. And then this, mod this uh, Modulite converter box here, you don't want that flopping around, you want that to attach to a good flat surface. So they include this nice piece of double face tape you can use, or they even have a hole on it if you can put a screw through there to, to attach it down. Once that's all attached, you'll have these two remaining wires that, are, that need to be connected. The white wire we've already connected, the red wire, that'll be the power wire, goes to your vehicle's battery to the front of the car, and they do give you extra wire to run that up to the front and the connectors. So you'll put a butt connector on this power wire, attach it to one end of this length of wire, run this length of wire up to the front. When you get to the front, you'll take the other end, put a butt connector on that, and you don't want to connect this directly to the battery, you want to run it through that inline fuse holder. So you'll take your fuse holder, connect it to one side, just like that. The other side of the fuse holder, you'll take the eyelet connector and connect that, and that's what will connect to your battery. Once that's all connected, just pop open the fuse holder, Take the included 10 amp fuse, install it into the fuse holder, put your cap back on, and your system's all ready to go. It does come with some extra cable ties to take up any slack in the wiring, and a nice set of details instructions that will describe how to install everything. But that should do it for the review on the T1 vehicle wiring harness with the four-way flat trailer connector.